So I've been reacting to Swedish comedy recently and in particular a couple of skits and scenes from Grotesco. I really enjoy their brand of comedy. As I mentioned on the previous video, it's my sort of comedy. And another video that was recommended by a lot of people was this. It's called The Trial. Now this has actually got two parts, so I'm just going to watch them both on this video. I'll watch this one first and then straight after I'll just play the second one. It looks like about 13 minutes long, something like that. Tell me if you've seen this before. Tell me what you think about it. And yeah, keep recommending more Swedish comedy, more from Grotesco. Yeah, let's watch this one. Advokat åker till den amerikanska södern för att försvara en svart man, oskyldigt anklagad för ett mord han inte begått. Men i vägen för rättvisan står... Okay, already I, I don't know Swedish, but I guess what spark man means is what we've seen. Is that someone doing blackface? <laughs> en korrumperad åklagare och fördomar lika djupa som man gråveträdens rötter. Se Mac McConaughey do Louis, Gene Hackencrack och Sammy Lou Smith i The Trial <laughs> i kväll. Gene Hackencrack, Sammy Lou Smith. They say a man can walk a thousand miles and still don't know his butt from behind. Well, I say a man can walk two yards and find the crown, my crew. And that's the fruit. Mr. Kirk? Mr. McConnelly? <laughs> <laughs> Bill of Craskin? Turn it long. What can I offer you two gentlemen, huh? <laughs> well, I have a cap of coffee and a pistachio nut, Mary Sue. Cap of coffee and pistachio nuts. And for you, fur? Well, I'll have one beers, please. Anything else, fur? That pretty smile of yours would doodly do fine. <laughs> doodly do fine? <laughs> Frisky. Mm -hmm. You sure don't waste any time. Hey. You know, I admiral you for taking this chase. A lot of people down here in Casaro say you joined the Hula Hula Club. Well, Millie Bob people say in Tally Ho. The Hula Hula Club <laughs> ain't Well, 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 what had we here? A mama's boy from New York City. Yee-haw! Macaroo, Tom Jr. I ain't talking to you, Billy Bob. I'm talking to this here Danny Glover so that he can keep his nosey posey rosey in the can. Now scram! <laughs> I say rain. My nosey posey rosey chosen Moses stay right here in the can. <laughs> Till the can fry. Okay, I'm just trying to work out is this like maybe like a parody of like Western American movies, something like that? I mean, you see the guy on trial here, the stereotypical black guy who's always in trial in these types of movies in the US for this type of, which is relevant to this type of show. Give the Microsoft Word to District Attorney Paul Limbaka. Thank you, Your Honor. Microsoft Word. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, and extras of the curry, why are we here today? Why aren't we at home with our mammals watching race ball? <laughs> Race I know why we are here. <laughs> it because of that man over there. Because if it wasn't for him, we would be out of here faster than two hands in a whorehouse on a Sunday afternoon. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Mr. Lumber, you ran the hack and crack down at Knife and Maple Drive. Does that connect? Yes, I do. And it's a mighty fine little ship shop it is. Hmm. No furry restaurants. No furry rest. Mr. Lomberg, <laughs> do you wear a nightgown? Well, right now I don't, but sometimes I do. Now, may I ask you, on the night of 1647 and 3rd of August, who put the bomb a bomb a bomb in the bomb a bomb a bomb? <laughs> who put the ram in the ram a lam a ding dong? Well, it was the same man who put the dip and the dip and the dip to dip to dip. Erection, your onion, is bonding with the Whitney's. 
<laughs> you hear that again? Erection, your onion. Dap to dap. Erection, your onion. He's bonding with the Whitney's. Refrain. He's bonding with the Whitney's. Pump up the jam and get to the joint, Mr. Barker. Pump up this jam. Excuse me, your onion. Just making shit chat. <laughs> no, Miss Lomberg. May I ask you to identify the women on this fracture? Take your time. Take your time. Jeez. Well, it's that man's oyster, sir. That man's oyster. No furry restaurants. Why didn't Willem tell me you had an oyster? Well, I didn't find that was predominant. Every bit's predominant. How can I defy you if I can't touch you? I just <laughs> want to be a Morgan Freeman. A Morgan Freeman. He did to that. <laughs> I just want to be a Morgan Freeman. <laughs> this is genius, man. This is too good. What time is it, Billy Bob? Lemon dirty. Lemon dirty. Well, then I think it's time to play old McDonald's subtle end of <laughs> <laughs> This is absolutely... I've never seen anything like this before. Like, everything about it is good, like the over-the-top acting, like how they've managed to capture the essence of this type of movie or this type of show, the cinematography, the colour grading, the look of it, it looks like that type of show, but the dialogue, again, it's like very funny, like all the mispronunciations and things, but to actually write this, to make it so similar to real English, but so different at the same time. Okay, let's watch part two as well. The music is well late. So I've been looking at the branches down at the pastures. Them branches gone round and round this year. Not being anywhere they're supposed to be. Now, Cancer, tell me, do you like branches? <laughs> so see. Don't mind them. I bet you don't. I bet you don't. <laughs> now, I was real sorry to hear about your farmer. Fine dining man he was. Damn fine lower, too. Gentlemen, if you don't mind, I'm going to take my snap. The acting in this is actually so good. You might want to run a rang a dangling long. I have a look at those flies down at the county state archives. What flies? The Kartoffelman flies. What do the Kartoffelman flies have to do with the chase? They are the chase. God, my grotesque will make Are some you ready to make your final comedy. stains? Yes, we are. Just a random <laughs> fart, man. Your onion. <laughs> the <laughs> fans would like to call one more Whitney's. Erection, your onion. Over school. <laughs> Thank you. The fans calls <laughs> District Attorney Poland Barker. <laughs> This is Erosterus! Order in the food court! Could both counsels please come up to the mini bar? What is it, the message on the top of the screen said? I seen it say something like, what is that VR problem? Mid text stinging. So maybe it means like we have a problem with the text. I seen it at the beginning, it adds like some subtitles and things like that. So I don't know if it's like. Both cows. Maybe this is like a parody of what you actually seen on Swedish TV or something like that when you're watching these types of movies. They'll tell Just me if that's the case. Please come not. up to the mini bar. English, I guess. So maybe that's like English. Well, I'll let you proceed. But you're on a sort of lease. You can't be serial. This is a rosary. The witness will take the stand. <laughs> Mr. Barker, you fought this district attorney's office. Connect? Well, last time I shipped, I did. 
Well, what did you do in the fall of 1952? Too? Well, <laughs> how in the name of Rod Stewart and Gene Hackman could I remember that? I guess I was at home watching the telefridge. You, like <laughs> the any Scooby Doo would do. <laughs> now, would you agree that this is the Tuffman flies? Well, I guess I would. And uh, could you weed to the juries? Uh, sing along at the bottom of that piece? Well, it's real fussy on the thermostat, and I don't have my asses. But I think it says Rudolf McFruity. <laughs> so do I, Council. <laughs> Rudolf McFruity. So do I. It's too much now, good lines in this man. Would you be surprised if I told you that there's no Rudolph McFruit in the whole county state of Mississippi, Alabama? <laughs> and would you be surprised if I told you that the handwriting on the sing-along and those flies are identical to the sing-along of you, Mr. Polenbach? So what? It doesn't prove ring-a-ding-ding. Doesn't it? Or does it in fact prove that the band stand of the membrane has taken the stand of Mr. Poland Barker, Judge Raynald Carter, Shithouse Lumberjack, Missile Tattle 2, Mr. Crawler Crew, and Fuckish Racket, and Fuck the Moodle Can, and all the way up to the mayor's office. Nice. Acting, man. Top level acting. <laughs> I ask you, always fart. Did you them. or fiddly do not? Sing those flies, Mr. Barnes. I didn't sing shit. I ask you again. Read you or fed you not. Sing those flies. Yes, I sing those flies, all right. But I might be proud of it. This country's going down the spine and someone's going to take the trash up and do it. So help me God, it's going to be me. Because I rose the man and the truce and the frang and the deuce back in the face. Because that's the way it works. And if God has my witness, I'll be damned if I'm not going to win Oscar for best supporting actor. And that is the freaking fruit in this corner. Whoa. <laughs> I gotta say the last two kind of monologues from this guy and this guy. That is Oscar worthy acting. Like, although what they're saying is gibberish, the delivery is so intense. Like, this is brilliant like comedy because the acting performance is like very high level, but the the dialogue is just like nonsense gibberish. I again never seen anything like this. It's brilliant. I mean, no gross. I'm like actually into this movie, even though I can't understand it. Have the curry reached its addict? Yes, we have, Your Honor. Yes, we have. We find a defending. No filthy. The trial, the boy book, some are filmatisirat. The horse at the trial, film in the trial. Bist war the schön, at the slut at the lead. Violinist as well. Max Belas of the love story. To have a high quality musical number if it's grotesque. Well, I think we all learn a quite important lesson here today. But this is the county state of Mississippi, Alabama, folks. We can't set a black man free. Fry him. <laughs> It's not a place for kangaroos. It's just. 
Oh man, come on. That that is the most unexpected twist I have ever seen. That actually took my breath away. I need to see that again, like. I think we all learn a quite important lesson here today. <laughs> but this is the kind of state of Mississippi, Alabama, folks. We can't set a black man free. Fry him. <laughs> That is unbelievable, man. Oh, I and mean, that is one of the best comedy skits I've ever seen. Everything about it, as I said, all the things I mentioned, how they've created this very realistic scene that you would probably see in this type of movie. I thought it was like Western, maybe it's more like Southern USA, like with Alabama, that sort of thing as well. The acting, the intense acting, the intense performances. The humour with the comedy and the mispronunciation, the like, unbelievable dialogue. That twist, fry him, like straight to the point, man. Uh, his face as well. What was the this last The court is not a place for kangaroos. It's just a sparking lot for men to impress women. Think about it. Men don't like the kangaroo. Men don't like the kangaroo at all. It's like a scene film they parody. They only care about the women. <laughs> is that your legal tail, Casser? Okay. Wait till I flip the flip flop. That's rhinoceros! That is an unexpected little bonus there as well. What an amazing parody of Seinfeld. Like, he's got the mannerisms, the voice was down. Like, obviously, that's like a parody of the end of like each episode of Seinfeld where it finished with him doing this little stand up skit. But taking that idea, the dialogue idea from the actual movie part and having them talking nonsense and gibberish as well, but presenting it like almost identically to Seinfeld, that's just brilliant, man. Like, I thought I couldn't get any better after watching that movie, seeing the trial. My God, man, that is wonderful stuff. Thank you so much for recommending that. I'm so happy to see that. Tell me more about that if you've seen it before. Was that very popular in Sweden as well? Grotesco, The Trial, Comedy Genius. Thanks.